quality and style at a fair price. Now I like quality and I like style, so uh, you've got my attention. In fact, I've got 14 new sticks in the bag. Grab. Hmm, not too bad. Yeah, that's right. Three new wedges, one new putter, one hybrid, two fairway woods, one driver, six irons, all brand new sticks in my bag. And you're about to witness my very first putt with my brand new putter. It's got a bit of swing. Turn, turn, turn. <sighs> Nearly. And this whole setup cost just £899. So they had me with quality at a fair price. And I think 14 clubs, the ones I've just reeled off, at the price I've just mentioned, I think that's a fair price. Go in the hole, go in the hole. So the question must be, what about that quality statement? Okay, so what is today's video all about? Well, I have 14 new sticks in the bag. That bit is true, but uh, they're not exactly mine. They've been sent to me via this company, Sticks, S-T-I-X, and it's another direct-to-market or direct-to-consumer model that sells 14 clubs at 899. Some other interesting options as well, but ultimately I'm out here on the golf course at Hollywell Golf Club to test their strap line quality at a fair price and ultimately how do they perform roll out roll out well i think ultimately we've got to talk about the way these things look because i don't care how much things cost i don't care how good the quality is i don't care how good the performance is because i won't get that far unless these things appeal to me on the eye so take a look at these and tell me what you think now I know many of you think otherwise, but I think shelf appeal is huge. And one thing I will say is that these clubs look far, far better in real life than they do from the website imagery. And that's the first thing that I would ask, ask sticks to change because the 14 club picture, they almost look plastic to me. And what I've got to say, in reality, they look far, far different. Now, after quite excitedly opening this box of clubs from sticks, because I really wanted to know what do you get for 899 in terms of 14 clubs one of the first i unpackaged was in fact the putter go oh and i've got to say i was pleasantly surprised to say the least we got off to a flying start this has got a real super soft grip which is quite unique to be honest with you i really really like it and interestingly enough as i opened every other club that same style of grip is on each of those real real positive the next thing you'll notice are black shaft on every club that I play. They are all in fact graphite. Yes, 14 graphite shafts, every single club. And whilst we're talking about the putter, really, really clean. Love the way it sits in the dress. Feels really good. And I've got to say, we got off to a flying start. Next out of the bag, well, it came the wedges. The brave shot with that camera there and a new swing. And then three wedges turned out to be super impressive on a number of different levels. First of all, the finish and how good they look. It was reminiscent of some of the black Vokey wedges, to be honest with you. And the shaping, the chamfering in and around of the sole really, really led to being very playable wedges. And the bit that surprised me greatly was just how good they felt. So we've got three wedges, plenty of versatility, feel is great, sound is really good. We've got a putter, which I really, really like. This was all of a sudden a flying start for 14 clubs at 899. Could this go wrong at some point? The question was, this all seemed to be going too well. And at some point, surely there's got to be some negativity. Ah, just leaked a tad. Stay in. Sit down. Ah, we might have lost that one. Not the greatest of strike. Just leaking everything out just a tad right at the moment, but I'm really happy with the swing coming along. But anyway, back over to these 14 sticks and we're on to the irons and uh, also just lost a golf ball in that one. What I can say, 
again first of all pleasantly surprised the first bit being how good they look like i said the imagery on the website please ignore because in my opinion it doesn't know justice whatsoever it's very minimalistic in terms of its design to say the least and it's not what you'd call perhaps a game improvement style iron which i would have possibly expected in this kind of package set so the top line sort of sits in the middle if you like in terms of uh, not blade like but certainly not game improvement thickness same with the sole as well and as you can see it's very much a deep cavity back there's no great marketing claims in terms of the website they're not telling some amazing stories about how this thing has been put together it's uh, very much what you see is what you get and i've got to say we're still being positive about this thing this is still performing incredibly well and like i said they look really good and the one thing i've not mentioned on any of the wedges nor the irons and the alignment site on the putter is this little red decal which i think is uh, aesthetically really pleasing first and foremost i'm not sure if it does anything in terms of aid alignment and address or anything like that or draws the iron in any way but aesthetically yet again it looks very good well the good news was we didn't lose the golf ball in fact we got a kind kick it's a uh, great hole here at hollywell right we need a flop shot i think oh that could be good that could be good again i'm just going to say it one more time wedges putter and the irons the feel out of them you know is really really good and I'm quite surprised to say the least. I did tell you it could be good. So lost ball to birdie. I like that. So at this point in the review, we're all looking for some negativity. What is the fault with this set of clubs for 899? And there are faults and I will get to them. But what you're about to watch is me play four different clubs off of the same tee, driver, three wood five wood and the hybrid i've got to say the driver was bullet straight the three wood wasn't too bad five wood had a bit of a pull in it and a maybe a tad push in the hybrid but what i can say is this that they all came off of the club face extremely well and again i go back to that point about how good they sound and feel really really good so we've gone right from putter through to driver and from a performance perspective and overall general performance perspective i would say it's fair to say i'm impressed now it's time to get down to the negative in recent weeks we've seen a lot from the direct to consumer market and it really interests me because i realize on this channel that uh, everyone's got a budget everyone sort of wants and needs and believes in different things and whilst i really do push custom fit i realize that some people either don't buy into that concept or don't like it in terms of uh, well they can't afford it quite simply so for me to uh, showcase showcase this kind of product it's a real big deal for me and uh, what i like about this particular model is that the fact that sticks off you a sort of money back guarantee so you can try these clubs and if you don't like them as long as you meet their returns criteria then uh, you can send them back i really like that Oh, it's a bit clunky but it's going to get there it's going to work do you know what that's done all right anyway what is the first negative well the first negative is uh, the damn head covers i hate them sticks you've got to sort them out because every time i take one off i feel like chucking it in a bin i cannot get the thing back onto the club head and it's a bugbear of mine at the best of times i don't know how they design them quite the way they do i'm sure there's a little bit of a knack to it but at the moment i ain't finding that knack so please change the head covers but the second issue and uh well perhaps the more worrying i would think that's got a chance you know oh it did have a chance as well it's the bottom of the fairway woods the driver and i suppose even the putter in this mirrored finish that they've got it looks really good when first out the packet but if you have a look at the three wood and the five wood i have managed to mark them up already and that's just with one round played the five wood has got a scratch on it that I took from uh, taking a ball off of the turf. And the other has just a T mark, which again, I'm sure that'll probably polish off. But my concern would be that after many rounds played with these, they could end up in pretty poor condition. And I think, like I said, there's got to be a balance between aesthetically pleasing, which they are, 
and durability. And I think that's something that they've got to take a little bit of a look at. And my final concern really is just going back to the irons and the actual profile of them, because like I said, they're certainly not a game improvement style club in terms of the way it's been built, in terms of the mass. I think this kind of set is almost a bit of a kind of starter set, if you like, somewhere where you would, uh, you've would you just taken up the game and arguably that might be a player that's of a higher handicap. The kind of profile is almost, like I said, a sort of better player's club. I've done all right with them. I'm a nine handicap golfer and I just wonder how they would fare in the hands in terms of forgiveness in a higher handicapper's hands. That's not easy to say. Um, and that's again debatable, they might be fine, but that's a concern that I raise when I look at the profile and what I associate with uh, the kind of club I was expecting against the one I've got. So it's not personally an issue for me, but it could be for others. Nothing like an awkward lie to finish. Be right. That's such a good feel, you know, kick down the hill. Oh, that's a real nice wedge to finish, and uh, my kind of evaluation would be uh, quite simply, I've mentioned the negatives, but I've also mentioned the positives, and quite arguably, the positives far outweigh the negatives, because uh, they're quite minor. They're also maybe quite personal. I like to say the likes of the scratches on the bottom of the wedges and the fairways, well, that ain't going to affect performance, and ultimately, they've all performed really, really well, and like I said, exceeded expectation. The thing I like about this idea is that uh, 899 for 14 clubs for so and something that would po possibly cost around two grand from premium brands if you sort of count up the value of your own bag. It's literally half the price of what you can expect to pay. So it's a real good setup. It's a real good concept. I've got the bag they've sent me, which again is really, really high quality as well. And I also like the idea, finally, the fact that you don't have to buy the 14 club setup. You can buy the irons, you can buy the wedges, you can buy the putter, but obviously you're encouraged to buy the full set. And I assume that becomes a smaller price tag if you buy it all together. So I think we've given a fair enough uh, go here this, uh, this afternoon. And uh, I'd like to know your feedback. What is your thoughts from what you've seen visually of the product, from what I've done in terms of performance, what you think my negatives are, and what you think my positives are? What are your conclusions? Is stick something you'd be prepared to give a go at? So uh, comments down below. As ever, thanks for watching. And uh, as ever, at this point, I say that uh, it's late on, I've had enough, and I'm ready for a pint.